as an artist, I like to challenge our notions and our definitions of art history and art genres and use of media. I think it's important to have things that make you think and consider and reconsider, um, but I also think it's important to bring you in and to have that seductive nature that an artwork can have. Some while ago, I realized that I wanted to make objects and artworks that were performative. I myself have performance as part of one of the ways I communicate my artistic ideas, but I also wanted the objects to have that same type of performative nature. And I think by nature of the materials that I use, there is the notion that other people have touched it. You see the patina of the hand, you see the wear and tear, and I think all my objects do have the unperfected edge or side and that moment where things aren't totally defined. I think that is what it means to be human. With my series of quilt works, which I call the Codex series, I started to take antique quilts and intervene directly on them with various types of mark making and uses of symbols, paint, spray paint, tar, glitter, charcoal, uh, you name it. In some way, they are also in disrepair and have been forgotten. And for me to take them and to put my own language onto them is a way of continuing that conversation across generations. I think all we can hope to do as artists is to create a work that best exemplifies where we were at that moment and see how that changes over time. I don't want to be on a soapbox speaking about specific issues all the time per se, but there's usually at least one layer of reading in my work that does address something social. And sometimes it has a pointed um, statement and sometimes it's more diffuse, something for the viewer to grapple with and try to come up with their own narrative. I don't really think I'm the one providing answers. I think I'm just really asking deeper questions and hoping that the audience does too. So I began the BAM series of works um, really as a knee-jerk reaction to seeing the constant loop of atrocities committed against um, black citizenry in the U.S. And it affected me in such a great way that I knew I had to make some work about it. And I'd been collecting African figures for several years just as a hobby. I realized that I wanted to take all of them and do something really dramatic, um, maybe even violent to them. And as hard as it was for me to do that, I wanted to do something that would affect the viewer the same way, that jolting, brash, visceral, um, abject reaction of seeing the murder and killing of so many people. When younger artists look at my work, I hope to inspire. I want younger artists to push the boundaries, push the envelope, think out of the box. I think the magic of being an artist is the fact that you can't control it all and you're comfortable with being the interlocutor between things that you, that don't listen to you, that don't abide by your rules and knowing when to get out of the way and let them do their work.